guys uh, in the previous video we created our first database and we built a table multiple queries uh, some forms and reports in this video we're gonna add some new fields to our table contact and uh, this field is the birth date of each person and that field should be between surname and company now whenever you want to change uh, the structure of the table you would have to go back to the design view and that's what we do here we go back to the design view and here we are and like I said I would I would like to have the birth date between surname and company and uh, what we do is we have to select a field and then we press on that button now before pressing that button let me explain something pressing that button would result in an empty row and that row comes always comes above the row you selected so for instance if I select this one and then press insert row I would get an empty row above my previous selection okay and uh, in order to delete a row you just take the next button you just obviously select first the, 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 the row you wish to delete and then delete so if we want to have birth date between surname and company I have to select company and then go insert rows and I got my empty row here basically my new field and I call that birth date and now we come to the type in the previous video we had solely text uh, 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 sorry solely text fields in in this in uh, now with birth date you could use text but it is a bad choice because um, I would want at some point in time to calculate the ages of those people so and I need their birth date to calculate the ages so text would not be appropriate here for birthday um, and that's why uh, that's why a, a, a better choice would be a uh, date time and mind you somebody might get an idea like uh, why not input the people's ages in a database well the thing is with ages these change every year and if you got a database of let's say a thousand or two thousand uh, rows or, 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 or data sets you don't want to you don't want to change those things every year so that's why like things like age are not input by the user but they're calculated based upon the birth date of a certain uh, of, of each person another thing which is not never input is let's say work time the time you work per day what is logged in the database is the start time and the end time and based on that one can calculate then how much time you worked and so on and that's why we need to to um, to have birth date as date time because we it could be it could be so we have to we have to be you know ready for any eventuality and uh, that's why we have to put it as date time text with uh, with text with text field we, we could not possibly calculate anything with with birth date right and uh, and the other reason for putting date time uh, field as we'll see later is that uh, for formatting issues right now I have date time now in the previous video our text fields we could change the sizes of those fields the way we wish we had like uh, one field with 30 one field with 35 and so on with date time there's no way you can change the the size of that field it is always eight bytes basically something similar to like uh, eight letters and but you cannot change that okay so that's that's so the field is now done it's here all I gotta do is save the table and then go into my view and I got here my empty field so now I can insert the dates and the dates the way you insert dates it depends now here it depends on on how your system is set up for instance I, I have here a German system and the way you put them in, in Europe or in Germany the way you input dates is first a day let's say uh, 8 then a dot then let's say uh, 4 that's April and then uh, the year let's say 66 okay 
once I go down, I got my date. You know, it could be that if you're in the US that you'd have to put up the month before the day and then the year. It depends on how your system is set up. Okay. I'll just put in another date. Now the input of the date is always the same. You put in, let's let me put another one, let's say 15 dot 11 dot um let's let's say uh, 82 and you see the system automatically uh, adds the century and there is a certain a cutoff point where uh, access uh, puts either 19 uh, something or 2000 something i don't know where that cutoff point is but let me let me try uh, let's say 26 3 dot uh, I don't know, like uh, 26. You see, now that's like 2026, but actually I want 1926, so I'll just go in here and just change that. There's a certain cutoff point, I don't know, it is like maybe at uh, uh, anything below 30. Let's try it out. 31.3.32. Uh, uh, yeah, see, now 30s are 1900s again. So, um, five dot uh, seven dot uh, twenty nine. All right, let's try it out. Thirty. What if I put in thirty? So there you go. Just found the cutoff point. The cutoff point is thirty. Any date before thirty or any number you put any year you, you you input which is below thirty, it automatically goes to two thousand. So you have to basically manually if you have a, if you have a, some birth years which are below 30 in this case you have to manually uh, input the century be it 19 if, if you if you wish to have 19 if you wish to have 2000 that's okay you get it automatically right let's put in the last birthday uh, 3.3.61 okay there we go now birth dates are in now the only thing left for me uh, to do with those birth dates is to format them. And to do that, I go back to my design view. And here, of course, first of all, I click in the in the in the in the field I wish to format, and then here I've got format. Now, if I click in format, I've got a drop down with some uh, I don't know suggestions from from Access. But you know what? They're too limited for me. I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you three building blocks. With these, you can build any date format or any, you can build your date the way you want it. And the building blocks are here. And there they are. You have three building blocks, D, M, and Y. Right. Now, we've got like three building blocks, D, M, and Y. D is for the day. So if I just have one D, it means the day of that date without a leading zero. So basically, if you got a date below 10, you have eight. Without a, like for instance, eight, you have no leading zero. With DD, you would have a leading zero. That's the difference. With three Ds, you would show the weekday in short form. Let's say for Monday, you would have MO, for Tuesday, TU, and so on. Four Ds would show the weekday in full, i.e. Monday, Tuesday, and so on. Same sort of rules apply for a month. So 1M is basically the month without leading zeros for months uh, smaller than 10. Double M basically shows the month with a leading zero. This is basically applicable for months below 10, like your March, shown as 03. Three M's shows the month name in short form. And four M's shows the month name in full. For the years, you've got like only two options. YY shows the year without century, and 4Ys shows the year with century. Let me just scroll down a bit here. And here you see possible combinations you can build with those blocks. So for instance, if I do uh, dd.mm.4Ys, I get like this format. The days get a leading zero, months as well, and the year gets the centuries. If I have only one D, one M, and two Ys, for instance, I get like no leading zeros, and the year lacks the centuries. 
Yeah, I can also format my my date. If I have a specific date, like our birth dates, I can just put in four Ds, and I only get the day. I don't get the rest. I don't get the month or year. It just shows me what day that guy is born. Uh, same thing with the three Ds. I would get the day in short form. Ditto here for the months. And here's a possible combination. For instance, if I do DDD, then DD dot MMM, YY. And as you see, the connection between those uh, diverse building blocks, you could use a dot, you could use anything else. It doesn't matter. You can use spaces. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And then you get like this format. Let's try it out in our in our uh, axis. So basically, let's say I would want the year first. So I just say Y, Y, Y with century. Then I would wish the month without leading zero and then the day. Okay. And if I look at that, you must save first. Okay. And there you go. Now I got the year first, then the month and then the day. And the months small have got no leading zero. Do I wish a leading zero? Okay. Then just say MM. And now my months got a leading zero for those months smaller than 10, but the, but the days haven't. If I go back to view, obviously I've got to save first. And there you go. The months have got leading zeros, but the, day, the days haven't. Okay, and you can... Now, what you also can do, you can add some text to your date. For instance, this is the birth date. And now I wish to add this text. For instance, born on, and then comes the, comes the date. The way you can add text in your format is basically... Uh, within uh, quotation marks. So, for instance, I open up quotation marks, I write in born on. I gotta have a space after the on so the year, the birth date doesn't stick to the word on. So I just space and then close quotation. So that is the text. And now comes my year uh, here. So that's, that is sort of a placeholder for my birth date. And in front is the placeholder for the text within quotes. And the text reads born on. Okay, let's try it out. I save and take it to view. And you see now I got like these um, hashtags or hashes. Uh, what these are, that means that the field, the width of the field is too small for the content. And all I got to do is here, just uh, uh, go to the to the uh, right border of that field and drag it to the right to, ex to expand that field, to widen it up. And there you go. Now I've got, you see now I've, I, I, I formatted the date so it reads born on and then I got a date. Now. It's very important to remember what I said before. You input the date this way. I inputted the date because, like I said, I'm on a, on a, on a European uh, or a German system. And, I, and the way you enter dates here is basically day, month, year. Right? That's the way you enter them. How they look is a completely different story. That you, you can control with the formatting. You see? This is the way I enter the date. This is the way they look. Okay, so that's very important to remember. You enter the dates in the same boring old way, the way your system is set up. Then, if you wish to change the way the date looks, you do that over in view in, in format. Okay, that's very important to remember. Right, and you can see here with those three building blocks, you can play around, you can build up any format you wish way beyond what you got here in this drop down okay and let me let me try ddd for instance save and now you see born on you don't see the day anymore because you only see the day the weekday basically but not the, the day's number you see that's the change now now here again because i'm on a german system you would have german shortcuts sa for saturday do for thursday and so on and uh, that's the way you format dates and if let's say i just want to know on what day they were born weekday i don't care about the year and so on so i just press in four d's and that gives me the day now obviously my days are going to come up in german but that's the way it is in, on your system they will probably come up in your language basically English and uh, that's the way you format dates and you see here with those three building blocks which I show here you can build any date format you wish you're not bound by those few choices you got in that drop down 